Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 254, minimum non-zero product of the array elements. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you like contest problems and you like to kind of discuss it with people right afterwards and just kind of go over it and geek out or nerd out just with me, uh, you know. Yeah, uh, join the Discord. It's in the description. Anyway, for this problem, the first thing I did was remember the mod because I forget the mod a lot. And actually, I'm, I have a bug that I'll point out later that I actually modded too often because uh, I wasn't paying attention too much. But... But, uh, and it's good that they have the note, though it's a little bit awkward in general. But, but yeah, so the idea here is that um, I actually end up taking about nine minutes, so you can watch the video of me solving this live. Um, but, but I actually did, uh, and I, sometimes I get questions about pencil and paper, and, and I, have, I actually wrote out all the small pieces. So I try to write out the P's and then kind of match them. Uh, see if I can match them in a way. Or, uh, so I did it for P goes to 4 or the binary numbers, so 16 of them. You can't really see it. But but yeah, and if you're on an interview, you know, use the whiteboard and kind of work it out. It's fine. Um, but I think the... So, so this problem is about minimizing product. Um, so one thing that I know about products, and I didn't really think about it init uh, immediately, is that... Is that uh, for product... To, to maximize the product, you want to, let's say you have x times y equals to some number and you want to maximize this um, where x plus y is equal to, you know, x plus y is constant, right? Um, so you want to keep that the same and you, you want to do that. Um, in that case, what you actually want to do is um, you want x and y to be as close to each other as possible to maximize it. And you can kind of draw the graph where, you know, x times y graph, and then, you know, you can do the maximum or whatever. You can take the derivative if you like or something like that. But yeah, um, but on the opposite side, to get the minimum number, you would want to have them as far as possible. And in this case, I think example three kind of gives away a lot if you know what, what to look for, which is that, yeah, if one of the numbers is one and the other one is as big as possible, that's going to minimize the number. Um, and here, it's a little bit tricky to see, but, oops. But I actually did this for four and I did this on paper so you could kind of see it. But but the thing is that you have one this, you have do 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 do. Oops. So I typing this out. Uh, yeah, almost there. There you go. Right. So the first thing I notice is that okay. So you're not gonna get rid of the last number because in theory you would match that with the zero, but then that's not a thing. So let's just skip this. And then the next thing you you ask, I asked myself, and I was trying to do it on paper, is whether I can get. Is it true that I can get all these numbers to be 1 and all these numbers to be, in this case, um, 14, right? And the answer is yes, because I could switch this one. Um, well, let, um, so this one we're looking for, what are we looking for, right? We're looking for do, 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 do. Um, because the sum of these is going to be, or the, the, the bitwise total is going to be one 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 which means that you can break this up to this and and one right so this is 14 and one so that means that for every one you can get the good complement um yeah and i actually took a long time to see this uh relatively speaking uh and i didn't have this clear as a visualization but but that's the idea and then now the question is okay how do i generalize it right um well in this case uh, so yeah, so this is two to the p minus one, and then this is two to the p minus two, and then you times that by two to the p over two, right? Um, because that's the number of pairs. Oh wait, it's over two minus one, I think. Yeah, because that's the number of pairs you have, and you could get just really count these to be. You know, I, I could prove this, but you can just count this. That's what I did. Um, I generalized this. And then, yeah, so there... Oh, whoops. I think I made the same mistake in explanations that I did. So each one is this. 
and they appear in uh, and there are this many pairs right so that's basically the solution once you have that it's just about modular math uh, and yeah so I have I, I call these the top the, the top number is just this thing so it's 2 to the p minus 1 uh, the middle is what I call this thing because I just mashed them up in the middle like I said I, this is during a contest so I wasn't thinking about the variable names too much um, so this is just this uh, this thing minus one, which is I have here, and then mid count is just this thing, uh, which I put here. And you you know, divided by two is equal to p minus one, so that I have here, and then at the end, um, I did the power of mid to the mid count. So yeah, so this to the power of this with, the, with respect to the modular math times the top, and then we mod it again. Um, so that's basically the solution. Uh, so, so I did get a wrong answer from this. If you, oops, click the wrong button. I did get a wrong solution here. If you noticed, um, and what I did was that I, I was a little bit sloppy in that I did this with the mod. So what happened was that for p is you go to dirty, I'll say dirty one or something like that. Um, this is just the wrong answer because you can imagine that two to the to the dirty one is uh, mod. You know this thing. It's not the same as uh, let's just say some number, any number, right? It's not the same as th uh, this, for example, because because that's just not how mod works. I'm not gonna you know uh, go over too much. And then once I realized that, I fixed it for a nice five minute penalty. But that's basically the solution I have here. And and because p is p is 60 um, you could say this is constant time, or you could say this is over p for one for each digit. Um, yeah, both of them are probably okay. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Uh, even though I guess you could say multiplication is p squared. I don't know. And but it's going to be relatively or very fast. It, um, it's, it's my point. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for this one. Um, the intuit. I don't know that. I, yeah. Uh, like I said, this is more of an exploration problem, and it took me a while. Even though you know, some top people did it very quickly. Um, yeah. Well, actually, some people also did it, kind of took their time as well. So I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Oh, yeah. You could watch me sub a live next first, though, before you exit. Mod, 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 okay. I don't even know what the question is really asking for. I'm zero, okay. What is the greedy? I don't So we want to create it. Maybe. What is it for? 
think I see the pattern, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Sometimes it's just. Yeah, this is so hard to test though. Put these two good, this is good per se. So I can match this one, match this one. New match this one. So two, two, three, four, four. So middle number, middle there's no middle number in that, but uh, I, I feel like I get it, but it's such a weird problem. Just refreshing to see how many people have gotten it so far. So you don't care about that one too. Does this work? No, that's not right. Oh, did I mess up on my thing? I guess I did. I'll just these two groups together. So this it should be, let's see, uh, 2 to the P, mm, so this, this minus 1, now is this number? Minus one is equal to top say, and then middle is equal to top minus one, and then middle, and then how many of this mid count is equal to? It's n over two, which is uh, two to the two p minus one mod. So then this is just mid count times mid times top. Maybe. Hmm. Now oh, this is mid. Whoops. Typo. Okay, that's not right. Two to the three is eight. Hmm. Uh, auto, auto, whatever. 
Oh my, this auto thing is killing me. Okay. <clears throat> now mid is, so we can fix that one, but what's two? Two, I got it wrong. The middle is six and there's four of them. Is that, isn't that right? There's three of them. Okay. Oh yeah, minus one. So there's this mid minus this, minus one, but six times three. Oh no, it's not six times three. This is, I see. Okay. I don't know what the four is, but, but also the biggest number is 60. So let's test that. But I have no idea what the right answer is. So we'll have to see. Oof. Hmm. That's, that's weird though. And that, I don't know what the, maybe there's an off by one, but hmm, I don't know if the four is right or whatever. Let's see if more details can tell us what test case this is. It doesn't tell us what test case this is. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, this is not right. Or rather, we don't mod this. That's why. Uh, what is 31? Okay, that is a silly mistake. I was too aggressive in modding. Okay, let's go. Uh, what a silly mistake. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest poems. We, we talk about poems all the time uh, of the contest type. But, you know, come, come swing by. Uh, let me know what you think. I'll see you later. To a good weekend, to a good, you know, mental health. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.